Welcome to Blueprint IoT. In this video, we will take a look on the MOSFET. MOSFET refers actually to a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. So metal obviously refers to a material, which we will talk about later, which one this could be. Oxide, obviously a material that got oxidized within the process. A semiconductor is something you probably heard of already, so a material that could act as a conductor under certain circumstances. The field effect referring to the effect that positive and negative charges tend to move towards each other. And a transistor we could refer to as an electrical switch, so to speak. So obviously we are talking about a certain type of transistor utilizing the field effect and made out of some metal oxide semiconductor. So let's dive right into the structure of a MOSFET. Looking at this diagram, we obviously have a bunch of connectors which are black in our case. So on the left hand side, we have the source, on the right hand side, the drain, and in the middle, the gate. Obviously, our electrons want to travel from the source to the drain, enabled by the gate. At the bottom, we have the bulk connector, which is not so important at the moment for our simple overview of the MOSFET. So by having the source and the drain and the gate as the element which enables the connection between the two of those, we already discovered the switching behavior of our MOSFET. Taking a closer look on the gate, we can identify this material as aluminum, which is obviously a metal. So we also clarified about a metal in the name of the MOSFET. Taking a look on what is separating the aluminum, the metal, from the rest of the MOSFET, we can spot this layer of silicon dioxide. So that's the part about the oxide in the name. So the rest is obviously the semiconductor where it gets a bit complicated. The blue areas are negative doped silicon on the left and on the right. And the part that's separating those two negative doped areas is a slightly positive doped silicon. So since this red area is only slightly positive doped silicon, we will find a bunch of electrons in this slightly positive doped area. Even though those electrons are only a few, they are present at least. So attempting to use our MOSFET, some electrons will arrive at the source, attempting to travel towards the drain. By being separated by the positive doped area, we need to apply some magic to enable those electrons to overcome this barrier in the middle. To do so, we will arrange a positive charge on the gate. This highly positive charge at the gate is enabled by a voltage applied to the gate. So even though there are only a few electrons available in the slightly positive doped area, we are able to attract them by this highly positive charge on the gate. And those electrons are bridging the space between our two negative areas between the source and the drain, enabling our electrons to flow without problems from the source towards the drain, so to speak, enabling our current to flow. What obviously happened just now is that the gate closed the connection between the source and the drain so our switch, our electronic switch, is engaged and our current can flow. So the MOSFET may seem like a bit of a complicated setup compared to a bipolar junction transistor, but the MOSFET comes with a certain set of benefits. Taking a closer look at the gate area, we can easily spot that we applied a voltage to create this positive charge, but there is no actual current flowing through the gate. So to activate, to engage this switch, to engage the MOSFET, we have no need of electricity consumption. So there's no base current flowing continuously to keep the MOSFET engaged as we would have it with the bipolar junction transistor. So a big plus for the MOSFET is the very low electricity consumption, especially compared to the bipolar junction transistor. Another benefit is that we can engage the MOSFET very quickly. By applying a relatively low voltage at the gate, we can immediately engage the MOSFET to full extent. While the bipolar junction transistor 
would need an increasingly higher voltage to engage the transistor completely. And this process of increasing the voltage to a higher level will take more time compared to the MOSFET, which will engage much sooner. The MOSFET comes with several other benefits like cheap manufacturing costs, little need of space and the capability to switch on and off relatively high currents. So these are the rough basics of the MOSFET. Even though there are much more details of different types of MOSFETs, more details how the gate is actually fed with electricity and so on and so on. So in case you're interested in a more detailed video, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, make sure to be subscribed for more content like this around electronics and IoT and see you next time. Thanks for watching.